Welcome back, everyone, to part two of Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm your host, Metal Levite Alex. And, uh, yeah, plot of this game so far is we're chasing after a, a lost city in Siberia called Katesh, where a Byzantine prophet of whose name we don't know, who's apparently immortal, sought refuge in with the Holy Grail or some shit like that, and we're up to our ears with a secret order of knights, the Templars, aka Trinity. Yeah, a lot of shit's happening, and uh, we're now going into a Soviet installation that's been taken over by said um, secret society. <clears throat> And we fought a bear last time. They really upped the RPG upgrade elements from the first game. It's no longer just, you know, scrap and whatnot. They actually expanded upon it massively. And some of the stuff you didn't, you really didn't bother, we really, there was really no need to bother with last time, like the hunting. Yeah, they actually made that gave that more purpose this time around. So far, I'm liking the game. Still early in it. By like three, four hours. And yeah, we're right here. So yeah, now we got to um, go into that Soviet base with the train yard and see what happens. Oh, there's a Oh, there's a giant ore crane of some kind. Oh, there's a secret door there. There's a rabbit. Treasure. Huh, tree that we can climb up for some reason. <coughs> A box that we can't open. Elevator shaft. Yeah, what is this? another way hmm way to go back up there I think yeah it's a way to go back up Okay, so that's what it is. It's just a way to go back up. No biggie. Okay, so now we know what that is. Damn, she rips that tree apart. Wait, there's a hole in here. Point of interest revealed. Whoa. This looks old. Crypt entrance. Don't you mean tomb entrance? Explore caves in the Soviet installation. Huh. Okay, so it's part of a challenge.
dead guy in there. Huh. Greek. More corpses. Cocos of Nesia, the astronomer. Oh, come on. Internet quality going down again. Are you fucking shitting me? Ugh. I fucking hate this shit. Why? Why does the quality keep going down? Crap internet. PS4, YouTube, I don't know who's, who, what's doing it. Or is it my router? I don't know. It's fucking bullshit is what it is. And it needs to stop. Like, a week ago. Crap, this place is deep. There's a chest over there. Got a chest over there, but what's over here? Uh, I kind of want to go check the chest out first. Bunch of murals. <laughs> Ancient bow part, eh? Okay. Okay, I'm still alive. I went this way already. Yeah, I have my phone out so I can see if I'm live because... I really don't want to stop the broadcast within two seconds of starting it and having to do it all over again. I'm really getting sick and tired of that. So, if the, so if the broadcast goes black on my phone, I know where to stop and restart. <sighs> I 
can't jump up there. Oh yeah, I can. A prophet must have his followers. Kokos of Nicaea was one of the prophets first. Huh. Branded a heretic in his home city. Kokos joined the pilgrimage north. His knowledge of the stars helped guide the way. It is said that Kokos and the prophet would sit for hours under the stars debating the nature of the universe and man's fraught place within it. For the prophet, he built an orrery of planets and stars so that even during the dark of winter, he might gaze upon the night sky. Hmm. <laughs> okay, down into the glacier with even more stuff. I think I found everything. So, nothing to do now but go back. And keep going forward. So, it's not just tombs, we got little side areas now. Anything over there? No, I already... Nah, it's just a little bit of scenery with a dead guy in there. Oh, I hear wolves. And crows. Crows and wolves. Uh oh. Dead guy. A recent one this time. Nothing I can do for him now. All units just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. Not Russian, no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. Hmm. I'm starting to see that now. Yeah, nothing godly about this. About this, as far as I'm concerned. In order before he arrives. Oh great. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. You're not calling anybody. Huh. <laughs> no comms for you. Uh, bird nest. Gotta get them feathers, son. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hey. hell are these people? Initial recon said there was an old village up in these mountains, but they expected farmers. Thought they'd surrender without firing a shot. Farmers? Shit. These are trained guerrilla fighters. Hmm. It looks like they drove the Soviets out of here. 